Well, we're out here doing chores and Brooke just saw Miss Lewis get up off her eggs. So we want to go candle them real quick and see if any of them are fertile. It is still super nasty and wet. We got a break right now. We we're outside doing some chores and Brooke just hollered at me and said that Miss Lewis is off her eggs. We need to go look at them see if she still got all five of her eggs and we may even candle them to see if they're even fertile Let's see if she's still off of them she is and we do have five eggs too you think they'll fit in that one yeah okay so you went and grabbed the candle there yeah it's a neat little thing it's um from i don't know how you say it brincy yeah or brincia and you can use it just like this and it has a very bright light as you can see mm -hmm. that you can click on and you can put your egg right there or you can slide it in this handy dandy microscope type thing that allows you to enclose the egg and look down in there and it's dark so you can really see the veins so let's see let's see what it looks like without that first okay well, I see all five of our eggs are still here. All five of our eggs are still here. Yeah. And we got to work kind of fast because yeah. she, uh, she'll be back. She's just going to get her a bite to eat. Yeah. All right. May not be dark enough. Yeah, that's why you have this. Okay. So if we can't see anything through this, which we cannot. Yeah, it's not dark enough. It's not dark enough. What I'm going to do is put this piece on. Hopefully we can figure out how to I guess it show you guys. Isn't that a neat thing? It is neat. And it's got a little dial on it. Let me see if I can see anything first. And that's, that allows the egg to turn, which yeah. is really neat. So the egg's turning. Guess what? It's fertile. I see veins. Yes, it's moving. Oh gosh. All right, let me see if I can stick that. It's kind of like um, when you're looking up under a microscope yeah. at parasites. <laughs> there it is. Can you see it moving? Uh, I can't tell from the camera's perspective, but we can see down in there. And I probably need to rotate it some more because I think it would get even brighter. Uh huh. If I rotate the egg, there it goes. Okay. You got a good see. spot of it? I do, but there's a little bit too much light shining through. Yeah. For the camera to see. She's looking at us. Is she? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go on to the next let's go one. On candling. Oh. Let's go on to the next one. So All that right. one looks good. See how it changes? Yeah. When you turn this dial, it allows the egg to turn so you can get it from a different angle. That's pretty I'll cool. Set that one over there. And I'll put this one in. Tucker's coming to help out here. Right here, Tucker. Tucker, she might not like you over here with her eggs. <laughs> All right, let's turn this one. Oh, I see veins. So that one's two for two? Yep, it's moving. Let me see if I can get a shot of this one, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing wrong as far as the lighting goes, but it's kind of halfway lit up. Uh -huh. But that's enough to be able to see. So that's number two. Looks like we're two for two. Maybe I should turn it that way. What do you think? Yeah, maybe so. I need Mary Carl, but this was kind of unplanned. Yeah, this was sudden. This was not in the books. No, that's not going to work. Right, so I'm going to turn it back. I mean, Carl's our egg expert. She didn't know we were doing this, so she's going to be... She might be upset with us. I see veins, but I don't see him. Oh, 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 oh. It's oh, moving too. It's moving. Wow. Here she is. You see it? I can't tell. That is looking the in coolest the phone. thing. It's just hard to tell with me standing back looking at the phone. I got you. Well, hopefully it'll show up for yeah, our viewers to be able to, to see these All right, so babies. Looks like we're three for three. I am so excited. <laughs> okay, let's see. 
All right. It's definitely fertile, but I haven't seen any movement. Okay. Okay, so. Then was that moving? It's fertile. Yeah. You can look in there uh -huh. and, and see that it's fertile. Uh huh. But it, I don't see any movement. Okay. So, I mean, that one's an iffy. So, probably three for four on what I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. So, last one, right? Last one. This is number five. Okay. She's behind you. Is she? Yeah. I'm fixing to be out of your We're fixing to be done, baby. baby. Okay, this one's definitely fertile, but I don't see any movement. Okay. All right. So, so we know three. Come around here and, and show what their what her nest looks like. Yeah, I was showing it over here on this side. You can uh, see put them all it. five put them all back. right back where she had them. And I bet if we stand back. Yeah, she's behind me. Is she? Yeah. All right, let me get the one out of the candler. I'm going to look at it one last time. Okay. Oh, it's moving. It is moving? It is moving. Okay. All right, so Good. we know four out of five. We know four out of five. Four out of five are alive. Now, that one may be alive. It just, I didn't see it moving. Yeah. I reckon I got time to go back over them and... Yeah, them. do that. <laughs> do that. All right. With her standing right there. All right. Get out of your way, big girl. All right, Miss Lewis, have at it. That was awesome. I can't believe we got that. I can't either. When I saw her over yeah. there, look at her. Yeah, she's going back. Tucker, you better come here, girl. She's going she back. She gets up every morning to go eat, but it's so fast yeah. that we only have a limited window. So we were very fortunate to be able to go to the barn. Look at her. There she goes. Go to the barn, get the candle, or come back and candle the eggs before she yeah. got done with her breakfast. All right. Good deal. I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. <laughs> All right, Miss Lewis. Tucker's going to ride with you. Come on, Tuck. She nope, said, never mind. She said if I don't have a truckload of boxes, she might ride with me. <laughs> oh, Tucker, you just big old farm helper, ain't you? Yeah, you just a big old farm helper. How about them eggs? Ain't that awesome? Come on. Now, it looks like possibly, according to Brooke, I, I couldn't see with the phone, really. I was trying to stick the phone camera down in there and the GoPro camera, but four out of the five were moving now that's really really good sign that still doesn't mean all four of them may hatch there's just anything can happen we've we've seen it before especially with uh, chickens and poultry uh, you think one's alive or whatever in the shell and it just does never hatch so anything can happen there but that is a great sign that is a really really good sign and looks like we're possibly going to have at least just say a 50% hatch rate, two to three. That would be great. Oh, Miss Lewis, she's gonna be a proud mama, I believe. She's a good mama though, it looks like. It looks like she's gonna be a good mama. Speaking of good mamas, look at here. Look who has hatched out two chicks of her own. The one and only Miss Roomba. Roomba, look at you, girl. And of course, y'all can tell Redneck is the daddy. Look at those nick and nicks they got. Oh my gracious. Oh Roomba. And let me show y'all where Roomba hatched these eggs out at. Are you guys ready for this? Right here. She hatched these eggs out in the cat house, which has seen its better day. But that's where she hatched them out at. I guess she kicked Tucker out. So Tucker, this is my egg laying station and where I'm gonna hatch out me some chicks. And she did just that. Oh, Roomba. Tucker, I wanna say that was very nice of you to let Roomba bar your cat house. Yeah, to bar your cat house to hatch them chicks in. That was very, very, very nice of you. And I know she surely 
appreciates it. I know she does. Yeah, Ruma's a good mama too. She is. And you a good, good farm cat. Really good farm cat. <laughs> Hello, Foxy. What's going on, Foxy Foxy? How you doing, baby girl? Hmm? Hey, you gotta put your... <clears throat> hey, you gotta be sure to patrol over there by that horse trailer now. You know, Miss Lewis is fixing to hatch out some babies. And uh, we're gonna need a little extra protection on with her, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, which I know you will. You're such a good farm dog. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are the best. You are the best. Oh, man. I gotta go finish chores. Yeah, we gotta stop. We stopped counting them eggs this morning and kind of messed me up. So I gotta get back to finishing chores before the rain comes. Got a break this morning, but it's coming, girl. It is coming. Yeah, it is. Uh, looks like it's gonna rain all day today, all day tomorrow. Uh, I'll go show you guys the pond, too, what all this rain's doing. It's not like it's been five inches of rain in a day, but it's just been a steady rain and it may stop for, you know, an hour or two or 20 minutes, start back raining again. So I will show you what is happening over there at the pond. Redneck, have you seen Roomba and your new babies? Huh? Have you? Hey, Tommy. Where's Ursula? There she is. What's up, Ursula? Redneck, you better go check them babies out. Look at there. Look who's coming to eat. Look at there. I'm gonna throw out some more scratch this morning. Everybody get a little snack this morning. Y'all come on, get a little snack. There y'all go. Tommy, what you skipping for? Hmm? Hey, Scott. How you doing, brother? Listen, I'm sorry about your tail. I am. But you know what happens every year. It always comes back. So don't get too down and out about it. Y'all look at Ozella's babies. Look at them. Aren't they getting big? Them things is about as big as all our chickens, y'all. Ooh, they're getting big. Man, I know she's a proud mama. And Greg, he's way down yonder this morning. He said he didn't want any scratch. So he must be full. Got his little duck crew over there with him. Oh, Zella, your babies are just gorgeous. Now, Brooke said one of them had, and we call it a fante, that little crest on their head. And we call it that because when Mary Carl was a two years old or so that's what she called them and it's just ever stuck just like we call our side by side the beep beep you know but um she said one of them has a white streak and i see it i see the white streak let's see if i can zoom in with my phone one of them has a little white streak or a white feather on its fan tape let's see there see there's three Maybe we can see it here. Oh, let's see. Y'all see it? One of them's got a white streak on his head. I think it's right there in the back. Yep, there it is. You see it right, right there beside Scott. Ain't that something? That's pretty cool. But some of y'all notice this old girl here. It's an old chicken. And we've had her for a long time. The black one right there. And we got her from a uh, feed store a long time ago. And the reason we got her is that she had a deformed foot, which causes her to limp. And me and Mary Carl, with the big heart she had, she said we had to get it because she knew more than likely nobody else would have got it and it wouldn't have made it. So. That's why we got her, and y'all, she is probably five, six years old. See how she limps? 
here she is five six years later still trucking or well, she may be four anyways that's why she limps like that we've shown her in the past but it's probably been a while all right old girl i think mary carl calls her i was gonna say soot but i don't think that's soot i actually forgot I, I forgot her name i can pretty much keep up with all of their names out here pretty much but sometimes i just get confused <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that right, pretty boy? Ain't that right? Well, I know there's Sylvie 1, Sylvie 2. I hear Loki over there, way over yonder, crowing. There's Opal, Corny. I don't know that one's name. I just don't. That is Diane. There's Goat. There's Pearl. Emma Jean. I see that one is, that's uh, Tina Turner, Fancy, uh, Dolly Parton, Lydia, Squash, Phyllis Diller. So I do do pretty good with them, I think. Do pretty good. Uh, quick house update. The cabinet guys are supposed to be here today or tomorrow. So hopefully that does happen. Um, but we've learned on building house that that always isn't the case not always the case <laughs> but hopefully so hopefully it is the case this week but that's pretty much it on it we're kind of at a little standstill on the house build now um now brooke's mom on the other hand they did finish up her cabinets she's waiting for a couple of pieces of furniture to arrive and to get her internet and phone hooked up in her house and so she can get out of the tiny house and move in over here and have all of her utilities so that may be coming very soon for her very soon now once that happens with her we can possibly possibly sell or relocate the tiny house and start on the driveway because the driveway is going to come around the tiny house it's not going to come straight forward right down here like you're seeing it now that has not been our plan the entire time we want our driveway to kind of curve and so what i plan on doing is just covering this area of course with grass once the camper's gone and we're going to plant some trees out in here and the trees will get tall which will allow shade for anything on this side of the pasture because our sun comes over on this side and also give us a little bit more privacy on our house too so that may be happening in the next few weeks maybe ain't nothing gonna happen with the rain like it's been at all oh i was gonna show you guys the pond right almost forgot all right so here we are on the pond now you can see we got water in it uh, now it is has been as high as you can see this line right here it's got up to that high but of course it just evaporated out because we've had a pretty dry hot summer but i will say this as dry and as hot and the lack of rain we had this pond has not dried out it has had water in it pretty much or has it has water in it the entire time so if it keeps raining like it is this week i think it may get on up to where we see that line right up there i think it will and then once it cools off i'm gonna go to the creek over here in the woods and start pumping water in from the creek at a slow pace and it's just so thick right in here y'all right in through here our wooded wooded area it's just so so thick at some point whoever lived here before us several 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 years ago cut this timber and they started to replant it with pines and then they stopped and then what happened is is when they stopped with the pine planting you know just undergrowth just took completely over and y'all seen us hike in the woods over there it's super super thick and with it being hot and the two monstrous rattlesnakes brooks already seen and the few copperheads we've seen um i just don't want to take a chance and you know what's a couple more months of me going down there and pumping water in once it cools off. I don't have to worry about snakes or whatever, anything like that. 
but that is your pond update for now and hopefully hopefully i would say maybe this time next year our pond level will be up here so brooke just asked me can we move her washer and dryer which is in the garage over at our house in the laundry room and i said sure uh, why not but there's one thing i need to check first I got my buddy with me right here he's gonna help me check it i need i need to see if the uh water's turned on to the washer and dryer not washer and dryer just the washing machine because all the plumbing's not quite done yet and i got a feeling it's not so but we're gonna go check first come on lolo all right let's go look and see i got my gut feeling telling me this is not gonna work and I'm gonna hate to break the news to her. See, because this is not on, this is not on, but this is on. So, let me see here. This may be on. I hate to turn in water skeet everywhere. I can turn just a little bit, let's see. Without water going. I think I hear something. It's not looking good. Yep, no water. All right, let's go check upstairs and see. It may be tied to the kitchen sink there. I didn't think about that. Um, we have one of those manifold blocks, which I'm so happy about. Uh, I don't know if that's common in all new construction or what, but man, these things are awesome. It's basically like having a panel box for <laughs> for your water system for your plumbing and let me show you this thing real quick all right here's our attic area but look at this look at this i can cut hot and water oh clothes washer it says clothes washer right there clothes washer cold all right, so all I'm gonna say is turn it on and see what happens. That's kitchen sink ice maker, kitchen sink hot, which we know that's off. Master bath showers on, master bath tubs on. That's Mary Carl's tub. Uh, bath number three, all right, that's Mary Carl's. That's number two, cold toilet. I want to make sure that when I cut this on that the sink isn't going to come on. Clothes washer. All right, that's my kitchen sink. Got that. I'm looking for my master bath. Well, it says laboratory, so he's got that. On. All right, so I'm going to cut it on and see what happens. Right? Let's see if it stops. That didn't sound good, did it? Let's go look. Maybe I didn't make a boo boo there. <laughs> so the kitchen had its own thing, it was turned off. And I know this and out here. That goes to the kitchen. I don't see no water come out of it. That's my outdoor sink. See, that's got caps on it, so I'm not worried about that. Caps, caps. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm gonna cut it back on. I think what we heard was just the water coming through the pipes because there's no water in those pipes right now. So let's regroup on this. Aren't those things cool? Isn't this thing cool, y'all? I mean, this is so cool. All right, clothes washer. Let's turn it back on. It's still not stopping. I did not like that. Why didn't it stop? Just 
Looks like it's not stopped running. I don't think it take that long. All right, look at here. This is where it was coming from, right here. Look at there. The cold and the hot water right there. This is to my outdoor sink. The washer machine hookup is probably right here. And he just tapped into that feed to give me hot and cold water out here on the outside for my outdoor sink. So, and these don't have caps on it. Um, I bet he forgot to put caps on them, which isn't the end of the world. Uh, I can get those short bite kind and put on there and put a valve on it and that should fix it because he's not going to come back until we call and tell him they are ready for him because the cabinets are installed. So this may be something that I'm going to do myself and take care of right there. Can't do it today, but that's something that we can do right there. And Arlo, that explains why he had that one turned off. Yeah, don't it? <laughs> that explains it, don't it? Yeah. Yeah. And I bet he forgot to get those caps put on because me and him were actually working pretty hard that day trying to get trying to get the tub, showers, and commodes going. Yep. Yep. That's alright. I can pick up two little caps for them. They look like they just slip right on you. Let me have a washer and dryer. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's go tell mom. You ready? Let's go tell mom. Come on. Alright, so I got a little bit of bad news. What's that? that uh, me and Arlo went down there to, to see about the washing machine and it didn't cross my mind when you asked me about it. Is it the water on? You know, because not all the water is on. So right. I went upstairs and looked at the manifold block. Uh huh. And the washing machine was cut off. And I cut it on, and I could hear water just running through the pipes like it wouldn't stop. So I cut it off, oh, no. went downstairs and looked, didn't see anything. Went back up there again and cut it back on again, thinking that I maybe you didn't get all the air out right, and stuff. Right, right. And it just kept running, 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 running. So I cut it off, went back downstairs again. And this time I peeked outside, and it's connected to the same line as the outside sink. Oh. And there's no caps on the outside sink. But it's not that big a deal. I can buy the little short bite cutoff valves, uh -huh. push them on there, cut them off, and it'll be off and we can cut the washing machine on. <sighs> um, but I can't do it right this minute. So no washing clothes? Not today. Not at our house. Not at our house. You still can wash clothes at your mom's house. Well. The new I, one. The new yeah, house. I guess that, that, I'm fortunate enough to not have to go to the tiny house. Right. I can at least go to. That's to right. Mama's new house and wash clothes. Oh well, things happen. So. But um, next trip we go to the hardware store or right. Home Depot or Lowe's, mm -hmm. I can pick up the stuff that I need to do that with. Okay. So we don't have to call him to come over here and do it. Yeah. Uh, that short bike stuff, you just push up on it and, and it automatically. Oh, so you don't have to have a special tool mm -hmm. or anything? Nope. And then he can he can because they're gonna stick out too far because uh -huh. the pipes are sticking out. He uh -huh. can just cut it off and reuse it. Okay. So. Good. Yeah. Good. So no big deal. Well, it's not the end of the world. Nope. Just I, maybe first of next week, something like that. Just might stink for a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, did you hear about what happened this morning? We candled Miss Lewis' eggs. All five looked fertile, and four of them we saw moving. Ain't that awesome? Hope you're going to be good in them babies. Yeah, hope you're going to be good in them babies. I've had some of y'all ask for me the next time it's raining, it's not raining hard, it's just barely sprinkling, to record the goats. And you can see Joe and Topper are not here. They are in their shelter. And if you look, and if you look over here, you see that our other goats are in the shelter over here. But look here. There's Mildred. She ain't in the shelter. Rain don't bother her now. But these guys, all of our goats are in shelters right there. Sorry about the camera fogging up, but look, look at there. All of our goats are in shelter right there. But look right over, there she is. There's Mildred. Mildred's not in a shelter, but every goat we have is in a shelter right over there. Ain't that something? And y'all, it's barely raining. Let me show y'all. There it is. There's the rain. It's raining that hard. And they're all under cover. Ain't that something? <laughs> 